As the war in Ukraine reaches its second anniversary, Russia is once again on the offensive. The battles are taking place at five key locations in eastern and southern Ukraine. First up is this area, the so-called Svatovy Kremina line. Several Russian infantry and armoured divisions are attacking uh, in four places along this section of the front line as they try and push the Ukrainians back towards the eastern bank of the Oskil River. Now they've tried repeatedly to push through Ukrainian lines here but without any major success so far. Down here around Kremina, which the Russians hold, they've tried to push out in two directions, towards the city of Kupiansk to the north and towards Lyman in the south. It's thought they've got around 110,000 troops in this area, along with BMPs and armoured vehicles. Now, if the Russians can push the Ukrainians back and trap them on the banks of the Oskar River, it would mark a significant victory. But to do it, they'll need to conduct fast and effective armoured manoeuvre, which, as we've seen throughout this war, is not a Russian strong point. So this battle is very much in the balance. Next there's Bakhmut, or what's left of it. The Russians took this city last May with the help of the now defunct Wagner mercenary group. There's reports of fighting in all directions around this city, with Russian mill bloggers claiming that uh, Russian forces have uh, reached within two kilometres of Chaziv Yar to the west of Bakhmut. The Ukrainians dispute that, but General Alexander Sersky, the newly appointed commander of Ukrainian forces, says Moscow is determined to take it because it would give them control of the high ground in the area and allow them free reign to shell the Ukrainian city of Kramatorsk, which is about 18 miles away and home to 150,000 people. Now, it's thought the Russians have 62,000 troops on the ground in Bakhmut, including several divisions of elite VDV paratroopers. Then we move to Avdivka, this industrial city a few miles from occupied Donetsk. The Ukrainians recaptured this from the Russians a decade or so ago, and there's been fierce fighting here for the past five months, with Moscow throwing tens of thousands of soldiers, including thousands of convicts, into the fight. Now, some estimates say they've lost more than 16,000 troops here, but the sheer weight of that onslaught eventually told, and they overcame the Ukrainians here, uh, because they were forced to withdraw before they were encircled. Now, for the Russians, this makes moving men and materiel along the front line much easier now. But the Ukrainians have withdrawn to some deep pre-prepared defences here. So the question is whether the Russians will try and push through those as well and on towards some other Ukrainian cities. Next is Marinka, 50 miles or so to the south of Avdivka. The Russians retook this town last month. Now, there's not much left of it, but they're using it as a staging post to re-attack the Ukrainian stronghold of Vulidar to the south. Now, the Russians want Vulidar because of its elevation, and it allows the Ukrainians to bombard this town of Pavlivka, which the Russians occupy, uh, as well as this highway, the T0509, that connects to a much bigger motorway that links Donetsk with occupied Mariupol. Now, last year, the Russians twice tried and failed to take Vulidar. They lost hundreds of men and tanks each time. Now they're trying again, this time from the north through the village of uh, Novo Mikhailivka, which is about 13 miles to the northeast of Vulidar. Finally, there's a battle taking place around Robotny, around 100 miles to the east of Avdivka. Now this again is a place we're familiar with because it was one of the key towns the Ukrainians did manage to take during the uh, counteroffensive last year. Just like Avdivka did, Robotny uh, sits in a bulge, a salient surrounded on three sides by Russian forces. Moscow has positioned three divisions around Robotny, around 40,000 troops, including VDV paratrooper units. Now, those, uh, those forces are attacking the Ukrainians' flanks and hitting their trenches with attack drones. Russian military bloggers claim their troops have a foothold in the southern outskirts of Robotny and that fighting is now taking place inside the village itself. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.